Okay, good evening. Welcome to Great Math number 47. Great Math 47. So this is a very challenging problem, but I thought you'd like it. Um, mm -hmm. It's from the uh, 2009 AMC 8. It's problem 24. Mm -hmm. And so the problem says this. It says the letters A, B, C, and D represent digits. Yep. Do you know what that means? So they can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. And... I said 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, I didn't hear you say 0. Mm -hmm. So they can be 0. Yeah. Um, and then it says a, the, the number AB plus the number CA equals the number DA, and AB minus the number CA equals A. And the question is, what is D? Hmm. Hmm. Well, the second think? equation doesn't involve D. It's just this first one. So, we know B plus A is A and B minus A is A. Interesting. Well, what can we, so that means either B or A has to be zero here, because if you, because that's the only way you can get, you can, you can add a number to a, the number and get the same first number. Okay. So. Which one of them would be zero? So, I think A would be zero because, well, it says B minus A is A. Yeah. So, so well, maybe would A be zero? Or maybe, I can't decide if it would be B or A. If it was A, it so it would be B minus zero would be B. And it would be B plus zero is B. So if it was B, it's B minus A, which will work, and then it would be zero minus A, and then zero plus A, which. So B is zero here. Okay. Interesting. So B is the digit B you think is zero. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, and it, we know a can't be zero here. Why? Because it starts this number. Oh, yeah. So we could have seen that from the start. Good observation. So we also know that a, b, and c a differ by less than ten. Okay. Since you subtract them, you get a one-digit number. Yeah. And if you add them, you get a num You get this number. Mm -hmm. So how would you figure out how would, what, you, what D would be? Mm -hmm. And well, D can't be zero. Okay. Like, D for the same reason. Yeah. If we could just figure out what A and C are, we could figure out what D is. Yeah, that's true. That would be great if we could figure out what A and C are. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think A and C. I think A and C have to be numbers that are that differ by one since that's the only way you're going to get a number like so if you have thirty minus so if you have like thirty one minus forty. This is the only way you subtract two digit numbers and get all one digit number here. Okay. All right, so A and C differ by one. Interesting. But in which order? So you either have the, th the example, th so you could do thirty minus you could do thirty-one minus forty or forty minus thirty-one. Okay, which one do you think it is? Which one do you think is bigger, A or C? I think I think 
A is bigger. Okay, why? Because if C was bigger, it would be negative. What would be negative? That number. Okay, a, good. So. Yeah. All right, so A is bigger than mm -hmm. C. So. Now we can. So. And when could we just pick values for A and C? Because. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's let's make that our second movie. Okay. Okay. okay.